So let's take care of ourselves. I say that I want this not to be manipulated. That we will not give up to these uh, protection measures. We will not stop. It is a lie that the pandemic is a simple flu. Those countries who treat this as a simple flu are making a terrible and tragic mistake against the, the uh, health of the population. This is a pandemic. This Omicron is more contagious, even though it's less lethal. Some say this might be the end of the pandemic, but no one knows. These are only speculations. If we vaccinate, we're getting ready for any kind of a scenario. And Venezuela has the method 7 plus 7 when it, whenever we need to use it. But I ask the media and social networks not to manipulate what I say. Because the two times I've spoken about this, they have manipulated my information. Stupidly manipulated. <laughs> Winston alerted me in these days. The heir of Amador Bendayan. First presenter of the country. Nobody beats Winston. He chose uh, devoted to politics. If he had a show, live show, an entertaining live show. On Saturday, he will break records of rate, rating records. Look at that. He's quiet anytime he premieres with his new show. Wonder Winston is going to be called. Wonder Kid. No, no, no. Wonder Man. And he's Rex next to the first actor, president of the theater movement for kids and youngsters, Cesar, first actor, the, at the attractive, the hot shot of the neighborhoods. So what's going to come next in the pandemic? What we have to do is to take care of ourselves. Protection. Later, our scientists will determine the rest. The three main elements to face the pandemic and to maintain our freedoms because there are negative sectors in Europe and the la in the right, Latin American right, that say that vaccination is losing our freedoms. I say it's all the way around. Vaccination is guaranteeing our freedom to be able to move around society, protected. Vaccine is a synonym of freedom. And the three components, the three components to take care of ourselves, to get vaccinated, and get ready for the best treatments in the world. We have the best treatments in the world. And let's hope for the development. And let's hope nobody manipulates when I say we will not give up 7 plus 7 if we need this further ahead, if we need it. Right now, I don't think we need it. And that Venezuela can continue working, protecting themselves responsibly, as we have been doing so far with full flexibilization of liberties. So it is very important, all of this struggle, all this fight. To continue the time we need facing the pandemic, moving forward against the pandemic, resisting against the pandemic. 
in a different dimension. De la batalla que dimos en el año of the fight of the fight we had in 2021 is related to the social to replace to regain the status of uh, social well-being that's where we have our deepest wounds and um, where have we have the most intense resistance on our part with the community councils, with the clubs, with the UBHs, with social forces, assisting those who suffer, those who need it. Last year, we dedicated in the budget, 76% of the budget of expenses and uh, investment in social matters, social issues. In what? When we're talking about social, in the ID of the homeland and bonus system that saves the lives of people by the end of the month when the salary is not enough. The bonus systems, in what we were talking about social, in public health, in recovering all of the health centers in the country, in public free education, in guarantee this uh, quality of education, in the construction of housings, houses. to place a human being in the sec at the center with the great missions. I created a special plan to assist poverty and extreme poverty in the country through social cartography created by Ricardo Menéndez. It's a methodology I have to acknowledge, Mr. Chinese Ambassador, something I learned in China and that we have brought to Venezuela with our modality of social cartography to determine the specific points in the map and the territory in which there is more need and address directly there to take food, income, health, housing assistance, and also human assistance that is so needed for those who suffer, for those who need it, for those who are lonely, The plan, love in action, to the victims of blockade. I would like to say, young minister, if you would remove your mask, you'll be able to say to our people, because sometimes we don't have this information out there, at how this movement how this government movement of wor social workers of social action that comprises 250,000 people that this movement how in this in an invisible way way reaches the last community the last neighbor to carry hope love and attention to those in need to those who the poorest ones I would like to if we could a microphone to this young revolutionary leader from Merida that today is a minister of youth and sports. He's a vice president social for the social work. How have we been doing this year? the plan we have worked of love and action to assist those uh, the victims of economic war good evening to you to all the country as you have mentioned in 2021 
It was a year for the recovery, for the well-being, the social well-being created by the Bolivarian Re Revolution, paying a social debt, a historic debt that was impossible to pay to the economic blockade. And this was damaging and wounded the uh, Venezuelan people. So you created this plan, Love in Action, to the victims of economic blockade. And it consists that every level of the Bolivarian government, national, regional, municipal, and especially popular power, the communal councils, through the system of missions and great missions, and with the glorious movements, we are Venezuela, deployed all over the national territory, week by week, during the 52 weeks of the week year, they go to 2,500 communities that have been identified with more vulnerabilities. So there are 1,800 bases for the social work, and they are under construction, and with the attention in terms of health, with nurses, physicians, students, of medical students, in matters of food supplied, with the uh, supply chains, with the plan of protein Cayapa, all their supply food programs, and in matters of public services, we have also ad added water, electricity, gas, and all this uh, social protection for the most vulnerable, for those who have disabilities, with the delivery of those revolutionary aids, those who are pensions, who are pensioned, those who, for the pregnant women who are breastfeeding, so that besides that, those who are not in, this, in the school system, we reach and we find those to reach 100% of school students. And this ID for the homeland has been, has been able to be more efficient for these policies for our people. So, President Maduro, we have allowed to take social protection to those mo most vulnerable. And as long as the United States government blockades our country, the government, the Bolivarian government, will protect those where ministers, governors, social leaders are deployed. I would like to thank you on behalf of that people that is in the territory and that is expressing this fraternal embrace for this plan, Love in Action, to the victims of the economic blockade that continues deployed all over the national territory. I would like to thank, on behalf of 29 missions, that do all these in social matters and this extraordinary work in a special way over the weekends they also deploy all over the territory thank you Mervyn and Mervyn is turning years today it's his birthday so I want to see on the map Ricardo on the social cartography map we want to establish where extreme poverty is, where general poverty is, where the, there is need, the need of needs, the unsatisfied basic needs, which is accomplished by the United Nations to determine uh, unsatisfied basic needs. They have three or four basic needs. Those who have three or four fall into the category of extreme poverty. I would like to explain, to get an explanation from the minister, before providing the data for extreme poverty and general poverty, after this immense effort we do to assist our people to not to leave our people orphans, abandoned and alone, 
to accompany them in their battle for development, for the development for equality and equity. So the, the issue of the unsatisfied basic needs. Minister. So following your discourse, it's uh, valid to refer to about this historic stage. We have been talking about how the Venezuelan gov uh, people has been attacked, and this is an attack focused on the social well-being and the people's well-being. So that if anybody can see our faces, and if they, they have done his research on where they can inflict more pain in our people, it's like they're placing pins on our bodies. It's in the hunger. Well, I'm going to affect their hunger. It's in the health. So they and I point a pin on their heart. So this is a Machiavellic action that's been preparing against our people. Every time we do efforts, economic efforts, they are looking to suffocate the, the Venezuelan economy. But they're not trying to suffocate the government. They're trying to suffocate our people. That's why that the response that the Bolivarian revolution has been uh, doing has been done to is through the uh, government. They started with this concept of resilience. And this, uh, when you came from the United, United Nations and you instructed us to achieve these uh, goals, sometimes we do not understand this. So the resilience concept. It was easy, it was hard for me to understand the reach of this. So today is a universal department for the study of resilience. How you can attack and how you can kneel a, a people by hunger. So the clap from last year, this is a department for the study of resilience of how they can affect the health of our people and how we face the pandemic with no money, with no resources, and having the vaccines and have this planted and distributed all over the country. And this is the convictions of our revolution. You may re reference to the social cartography to the planning of uh, as a social action and popular action, what we're trying to do is that the CLAP, the commun Council Commons, is about having a representation of our problems we have, and this is going to become a social cartography, but also a map of revolutionary management. And a main element is the poverty with unsatisfied basic needs. It's almost 44, 47 concepts to define poverty. And this has five main variables. So one of the definitions of poverty that has to be with income. And this is where they try to affect and create a problem with inflation. So we were based on the unsatisfied basic needs. One of those is uh, the having too many people, gentrification. And there is another that is a concept of public education, public and free education. If I may, Mr. President, I have to be, our people have to remember that when the concept of grabbing, and you actually were the one who has stated this topic when in the year 2017 was flexibilized the uniform in the schools. And this was done so because there was no money to buy uniforms and shoes. You said, well, you are going to provide a plan of free uniform for all kids. And this was an economic war where it was created the concept of resilience. When you say, for example, poverty as a result of school, when you created the bonus 
for um, uniform for children in schools. That's the concept because the second variable has to do with that. Materials for homes, that has to do with the tricolor neighborhoods and efforts. What has to do with services? We have received a blow linked to services. And the other thing has to do with the concept associated to economic dependence. So we have strengthened what is um, mentioned, the ID of motherland. There are five variables that have to do with poverty. Well, Bolivarian Revolution stated so just like they had a map to attack our people, we have done counteroffensive, and meaning that the central axis of the revolution is a human being, is the people, and, and this is precisely the reason for our victory. So when we saw children moving into the Plaza Bolivar, we could say that this is a, a sample of a fundamental balance of the year 2021. So that in that smile is a defeat to imperialism and the victory of our of our people. Thank you. Thanks um, to the Minister of Planning, Vice President of Government for Planning, Comrade and Professor and Geographer Ricardo Menendez. Simón, Simón es un tipo, se las trae, gran actor, primer actor. So he's, he's, um, he's a great character. So it is important, actually, to explain all of this. And I hope that the National Assembly that I, that I give you today, they can do an exercise of research and study on the behavior of these variables. For example, aiming or looking into the plan uh, for 2030 that was approved by the um, United Nations with the favorable votes of a delegation of government of Venezuela the human development plan sustainable and universal that, that, that we share with brothers from the world. We, we hardly have eight years for this plan to move ahead in the social indicators, access to drinking water, housing, health, environment, public services, and etc. 2030 plan. Let's jot it down. As Commander Chavez made us have that year, which was miraculous for Venezuela, the year 2021. He said that year, and which were the reason or intuition that he had to set the year 2021 in order to claim it as a year where there was a before and an after, a refoundational year, 2021. In the indicators of poverty for this year, we managed to have an, an improvement, an important improvement that was worked and uh, dreamed of, of reducing general poverty from 18.44% to 17.7% in the midst of the economic recovery that we are showing. And extreme poverty also measured with these methodology, methodology of the United Nations 4.1. We have set the goals for 2025 to reduce zero extreme poverty. This is going to be hard, but it's but this has to be the goal. Extreme poverty zero for 2025. Whether it rains. 
hell or high waters, whatever. So we have to reinforce the plan for the victims of the economic war. It is very important to strengthen the supply plan. This year also, this is also said quite easily, but for Venezuela it's no longer news that, that, that we're building houses by thousands. We have taken this as a natural right of people, as it was said in the 19th century. This is a normal right. We, we have to see the effort in finances, in, in soil, in material, cement, like steel. We have to see the efforts of workers, of neighbors in building homes themselves, and efforts made by the country to maintain the level of growth in housing. As we show in 2021, when we reach 3,900,000 months.